Hey guys, Wild Old Man here. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about <clears throat> what are the best ways to work on your box, try to get up there. Um, as I mentioned, as far as gear goes, you know, rare gear using gold is really, really good for this. But <clears throat> when you're super awakening and leveling characters, what's the best bang for your buck? So, <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to, for your characters obviously the older characters they don't have the best stats so you probably want to, you want to go with semi newer characters <clears throat> like this new Ludociel this new Ludociel <clears throat> the reason why I decided to level him um, he is only one six right but I decided to level him even though I didn't super awaken him <clears throat> the reason for that is he's at 47 5 in combat class with just this garbage equipment on okay and the reason he is that way is because of the closet now <clears throat> as far as cosmetics go if you have somebody who is um, 5 5 in cosmetics and they're maxed out like like he is here you want to level up those type of characters first because you know let's say uh, we'll just take this right off he's at 47 5 you know most characters only have three pieces of of gear and they're usually not maxed out you know when you first get them let's say there's a character you're neglecting okay So, when you first start out with a character, you get two to three pieces. Well, this two to three pieces takes him down a thousand combat class. And if you have the equipment, you know, level that 13.8% stat, those stats do matter. Um, not so much the defense, the one I actually took off, but the ones that actually matter are um, the attack pieces and <clears throat> and the, a the HP and attack are basically what you're looking for. So, like for me, I'm working on my box. I'm trying to get it to 12 million. And for me, I'm <clears throat> I was looking around and I went to Summer Merlin, right? So. And this Merlin is 166. Got five cosmetics. Got her all set. So for me, for the best bang for my buck, would be to finish off this Merlin here. She has 48.5 combat class. She's got a full closet, right? She's 5.5 five on all of her. On all of her cosmetics so when I super awaken her and and she's also 6-6 six, six. so when I super awaken her and I level her up this will be the best bang for my buck so we're gonna level her off right now <clears throat> now I'm gonna fully max her out she's at level 90 with 3-6 and she's at 48-5 right so we're just gonna max her right out And the reason why it it's better to max her out is because of the stats. So, like, even though I have rare gear on her, it's another thirty percent, um, at roughly. So, <clears throat> adding that five hundred to her for her stats for the attack <clears throat> is actually six fifty. Roughly. Alright, like if you notice, this was only 8,000, but it went up like 14, and that's because of that. So she was at 47, I went from 47 to 53. 
just by the, the super awakening. And sadly, I'm not going to be able to max her out because <laughs> I didn't get, I'll, I'll go do a quick farm. I'll, I'll, we'll go to four soldiers and I'll max her out. Yeah, this is what I've been low on is the EXP potions. And 20 is probably not enough, but. We'll just stop there for now. Just a regular success. Yep, I can predict those. When I'm gonna max out, that's when it'll super success. What up? When you go to max, it usually doesn't do it when you're. Ooh, wow, that's impressive. Was not expecting that. You know, I'm just gonna. Perfect. So now. She was at 47.5. Now she's at 55.9. So I gained 8,000 combat class <clears throat> just by working on that. And again, it's the cosmetics that do help. If, if you're debating on who you're going to level up, <clears throat> if they have max cosmetics, obviously it will be better for you um, because you get the most combat class from that. Um, Like if I was to level up Denzel, <clears throat> right? See, so yeah, I'm missing all these cosmetics for him. So, you know, I'm missing 500 HP here. It's four, well, over, it's actually four, uh, 550 for these two pieces here. And then, you know, I'm missing the 1450 from the three. <clears throat> so that's basically 5,000 HP that I'm missing just by not having the cosmetics and the weapons and the outfits. <clears throat> and, you know, if I'm going to max out this character, I won't get the best combat class bang for my buck. So that's what you want to be looking for. You want to be looking for <clears throat> the characters that, you know, you have 6-6, six, six, and that you have the cosmetics for first, well, maxed out first. If you have like, <clears throat> obviously Thonar, I have the cosmetics. So, so you know, you wanna, you wanna maximize these cosmetics if you can just for better combat class and then super awaken that character and and then work on on the others right so <clears throat> that's what I do um, I'm less than 75k away from 12 million I've been working on that for a while um, also you know, for your constellations, obviously, 
this is pay to win. I understand that. I get it. But max out, you know, if you're work your way to a node, you know, like right now I'm working my way onto the HP. What I do is I, for the best way to do constellations is to work your way to the HP, then work your way, then, then fill out the node, work your way to the attack, then fill out the node, and then work your way to the defense last because defense is not that big of a stat, but the rest of them are. Obviously you want to fill them all out, and if you are at Constellation 5, you do have the chance of getting, uh, well, you will get the Chaos Constellations. You'll be able to reroll three of these a week. Um, <clears throat> this system is, is, a, prog is a, a work in progress um, because you, when you go to reroll these stats, it's random, and if you have a max stat, you can lose you can lose it by rerolling. So just to let you know that I'm at 82 of 105. I'm actually going to work on HP next. Try to get it to about 70 percent as well, and then I'll work on the defense for the rerolls for that for the week. But <clears throat> for the most part, the higher you get in the constellations, the more it's going to take. And this is where, you know, a lot of the whales that the reason why is because they have every single cosmetic for every character. They have maxed out, um, they have maxed out ultimates. So it's <clears throat> to work on a box, <clears throat> like I said, especially if you're free to play or you don't have time, best way to do it, you know, is to do what I did here, buy rare gear. Actually, I'm going to reroll that. I usually go with, with rare gear. I go with 2.5 to get the best bang for my buck. Yes, it does it cost more. Yes. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm trying to get the best bang for my buck. In order to replace this piece to make it decent after I've I've maxed you know I get the 2.5 it'll be an SSR gear piece that I use anvils on to get it to the max level so this is how I do it yes this costs a lot of gold but it's gold so it's not so bad now that they've have the um, now that they've have the stamina costs, it's, you can do this even if you're free to play. As you can see, that took me 330 just for two. And I'll do this one as well because that's the way I like it. <clears throat> it's just better combat class. 0.1% is 0.1%. Usually you don't get just the 2.5s. Oh, as you just saw, I got two threes. I got the 2.7, the 2.9. It's just a basic guideline. See, it, you know, and it does up your combat class quite a bit by doing it that way. So, she got 37.5. Wow. <laughs> um, you know, and you don't really want to work on the rare pieces for defense unless you're done with these pieces here and then even then it's rough um, you're only gonna by doing both pieces you're only gonna get about 1200 combat class on average because defense is such a weak stat <clears throat> so my suggestion is just you know, go for the attack when you're doing SSR pieces, go for the attack, go for the HP, make sure that these are above 12.5 to get the best bang for your buck here also when you do SSR pieces. <laughs> the downside is these cost anvils and if you don't have a ton of them stored up for the next character coming out, I would hold on to them. Use 
rare equipment, you will get there. I'm hoping to get to 12 million by the end of the week. So um, it is a process. <clears throat> but that's it, guys. I just wanted to let you know, you know, if you're you're debating on which character in your box, you know, you want a level to get the best uh, to get the best CC bang for your buck, that's what you want to do. <clears throat> um, actually, Jericho. I'll, uh, I want to wait though. <clears throat> I want to wait and see what the new character coming out is. But I can level her up. So we'll pro I'll probably end up doing that and working on cosmetics. Like I said, cosmetics are expensive also. Costs about four, you know, if you do them all, it'll cost you roughly about 40 million bucks CC in order to max out um, a character. So let me go. I believe I don't have any cosmetics maxed out on Melascula. Okay. So, <clears throat> like here, in order to get it from SSR to UR, it's going to cost you 1.2 million. In order to get it from uh, max it out in UR, it's going to cost you 1.5. So, just the SSR, the SSR piece will cost you 2.7 million just to max it out. That's just one piece. You're doing 15 pieces. <laughs> Obviously, you know, some of them, like, these are you are so they <clears throat> so they will be less it'll only be the 1.5 for those but when you have something like this 2.7 2.7 2.7 2.7 you know that's 10.8 million then you add this you're at 12.3 that's just for the headpieces that's not you know times that by three because you've got three sets to do it ends up being a lot of money, you know. So <clears throat> that's just a heads up on on the cosmetics, guys. If you if you're really looking to max out the best bang for your buck, which you, for especially for combat class and other things, <clears throat> these are things you want to consider. And like ultimate move is nice to have because it saves you on super awakening coins. <clears throat> but the best bang for your for your buck for debating on which character you want to do depending on Super Awakening and Ultimate Levels, <clears throat> there's a huge factor with cosmetics. You want to make sure those cosmetics are maxed out. If they're not maxed out, like this character here, obviously has a long way to go. I would save this character for a later date especially since the ultimate move is not maxed out <clears throat> and the cosmetics are not done. So I would save Super Awakening Coins for another character. Um, this character here, I believe, is 6-6. Six, six. So I'd probably, uh, I'll probably end up Super Awakening this character next because I want that. Actually, I'm going to do it right now and save myself the trouble. Because, and as you can see, with the percentage, it's only 62, but when you actually do it, you're actually getting 8,000. <clears> and this is because of the rare equipment percentage, which helps out, you know, getting your bang for your buck. I am actually going to go ahead and just max it out, just so she's done for Super Awakening. Because that, this the amount of Super Awakening helps too. And... <clears throat> And I do have a lot of her cosmetics, so she does have, you know, they're not fully done yet. But, you know, and you also want to max out your closet too. There are instances where um, a... SSR piece will be better 
than a UR piece. Like especially this one for generation rate 7%. It's not really that good, but out of all these, it is the, the best one. So obviously I went with that. If you have lifesteal, I would go with lifesteal and just max out that care that particular piece. Alright, so those are all this. And sometimes it like I haven't gone through my box. Sometimes it pays to go through your box <clears throat> because you forget. You know, I haven't seen this character for a long, long time. But <clears throat> I started leveling uh, this character up because <clears throat> I was using her to farm for a uh, gold to try to max out her aff affection. <clears throat> but that's how you want to do this, guys. Um, you basically want to try to get the best bang for your buck. <clears throat> like these cosmetics here, you know, it, it's going to cost you 50 of these and an additional 500,000. So instead of 2.7, it's actually going to be 3.2 to finish it off. You got to think of these things. You know, like I said, gold is easy to farm. It's the it's the materials to upgrade these cosmetics that are, are the more expensive piece. <clears throat> now for me, I'm probably gonna work on my um, I'm probably gonna work on my SRs next for super awakening just because the coin cost is cheaper so the benefits are actually there <clears throat> like these are the only exceptions to to the newer characters like the old SR characters because it does cost you less to super awaken them they're actually a benefit to you and obviously everybody should have their SR characters maxed out on ultimate level shouldn't cost too much and with the rare coins uh, rare equipment as long as you have you know decent stats like I said I go 12.5 or above you know I'm still getting 37,000 from this character even though it's an SR character with you know, no cosmetics leveled and <clears throat> once I I super awaken her I'm gonna get HP on this one and this one so it'll it'll be beneficial because it does cost less like this is only 450 so this is only two coins uh, two SSR coins or obviously it's uh, brain died for a second six nine yeah maybe actually six uh, six of the 75 coins to finish this off so it's not a big expense and it does, like I said, it does help because at one, this at one sixteen, this will help. I'll probably get this to like 40, 42,000. So it's another additional five and the coin cost is cheap. So you want to keep that in consideration also. So <clears throat> for me, I'll probably work on finishing all of my SR characters to Max Awakening just for the points because you get three points for super awakening and you also you know you'll help your combat class improve but that's what i want to do for a video guys for now have fun take care we'll talk to you later